I realized my own personal development would really benefit from PhD uh, study when I can concentrate myself to polish my skills like professional communication, like project management or problem solving, things like that. And then I start to look around for a PhD studentship, particularly in London. And I found this center for doctoral training uh, in materials department. And it's mainly focused on advanced characterization of materials, which kind of like, it, it aligns really well with my previous experience. So this is why I applied and I'm lucky to get it. My PhD project is mainly focused on the catalyst development for proton exchange membrane fuel cells. So this fuel cell is kind of a device that uh, consumes hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity and water, which serve as our ultimate solution to the net zero to carbon neutralization. For my project, I'm particularly focusing on the carbon support of this catalyst. The reason for that is that for this fuel cell, it is still relying on platinum, which is a very expensive precious metal. So there is already a lot of like researchers working really hard in this area, trying to like, increase the intrinsic activity of the catalyst so that we can use less of them. However, when we're talking about real applications, then the catalyst support will come into the picture. So that is what my project is working on. So I'm using biomass, which is actually the world's most abundant carbon like resources, to prepare some carbon materials and use that carbon as a support for the platinum nanoparticles, so that the performance of this fuel cell of the device will be boosted. The reason why I chose this topic is all about carbon neutralization. So, you know, carbon dioxide emission into the atmosphere is really a problem. And this will bring us more and more problems if there is not enough actions taken. So this is why globally people are setting up goals for the net zero carbon emission. And here in the UK, the goal is set in 2050. So by then we should like finish the transition into net zero. And this is why these low temperature fuel cells is very critical as it provides an ultimate solution to generate green electricity.